In today's episode, I'm giving my thoughts on an affordable fragrance that's been hyped a fair bit in the past couple of years, and it's popped up on many reviewers' top 10 best value for money fragrance lists. This is Mercedes-Benz Club Black, and to find out what this one's all about, stay tuned to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is day 110 of my Fragrance 365 project where I give my thoughts on a different fragrance every day for a whole year. So today's scent of the day is Mercedes-Benz Club Black which is an oriental fragrance that was launched in 2017. It's an eau de toilette concentration and it comes in a 50 and a 100ml bottle size and I paid around about £35 uh, for this 100ml bottle from the Notino website. I own a, a few Mercedes-Benz fragrances now and I've got to say that I've always been really pleasantly surprised with the quality and I think they are definitely front runners when it comes to scents from car manufacturers. So I've got high hopes for this one so let's start by taking a look at the presentation. Yes, yeah, so into the presentation and the fragrance is packaged in this very smart looking box which is finished in gloss black and features metallic chrome detailing. On the front we have the uh, name of the fragrance which runs vertically up the right hand side and then at the bottom is the size and the concentration. At the top we have the Mercedes three-pointed star logo and on the back is a little hologram uh, sticker of authenticity. At the bottom we have the usual um, barcode and the batch code and the batch code on this one for anyone interested is 0310A. The bottle design is very very good quality and I mentioned in a previous review for the Mercedes-Benz Intense fragrance that the presentation was first class and this one's just no different. You get a sleek piano black finish which contains a raised chrome effect logo and the juice sprays out of the front just on there. I really like these uh, two little amber windows in the side there uh, so you can just kind of see the level of the juice and then on the back we've got the, the name of the fragrance that just runs all the way up there and then at the top there's a, a built-in atomizer. I think it looks superb but after about five minutes uh, you can it gets covered in fingerprints and dust which is kind of a little bit annoying. Um, the sprayer is also is a little bit awkward to uh, to press down uh, but it does spray out a fairly nice even uh, blast of juice and I would say that the presentation on this one is very very high quality I'd still probably give it a 10 out of 10 even though as you can see it's starting to get covered in fingerprints already. The top note in this one is bergamot, in the heart there's incense and jasmine and in the base there's vanilla, benzoin, ambroxan and woody notes. Yeah, so the top note in this is bergamot and it does start out with a zesty bitter citrus but this kind of gets lost amongst the alcohol in the opening and after about the first 30 seconds or so it's just gone then the vanilla comes through and takes over the whole composition right the way through into the dry down. There is a bit of a boozy facet in there and there's also a faint smokiness in the background which is coming from the incense and this all sits on a bed of woody notes. It's a sweet but not overly sweet creamy smooth vanilla and I think the jasmine and the bergamot do do a, a great job at balancing out the whole composition by just providing a hint of brightness. It's a bit like taking the sweetness of Mugler Pure Havan and blending it with the boozy accord from Bentley Intense Man and kind of just producing a hybrid of the two. When I first saw that Ambroxan was listed in the base of this one, I thought, here we go again, a bit of citrus followed by Dior Sauvage. Uh, but I've got to say that I can't really pick up on the Ambroxan note that much, and it's all blended very well. Uh, the only standout note in this one for me is the vanilla. And if you enjoy vanilla heavy fragrances, then you're gonna love this one. 
It smells very expensive and it has a definite niche quality along the lines of something like Mancera uh, vanilla ba uh, base scents. Although this is more of a, I would say more masculine than the Manceras due to that boozy and smoky undertone that you get in, the, in here. Ideally, I'd say this is one for the cooler months of autumn, but it has got enough oomph to cut through the freezing cold wintry air also. This is a perfect date night scent, and I even think that younger guys could probably pull this one off as a clubbing scent. It's nowhere near as sweet as the likes of Ultramail and uh, Armani Code Absolute, but it's heading in that direction. It's more of a dressed up scent rather than a casual Dumreach fragrance. However, it is pretty versatile and you could wear this one as a, a one fragrance signature scent all year round at a push, but it just might be a touch too sweet for the, the high heat of summertime. It would suit anyone of any age and it would cover you for, I would say, 90% of all occasions. This is an eau de toilette concentration, but it performs more like an EDP. It has a solid projection for a couple of hours uh, that will definitely get you noticed from about six to eight feet away. Then it starts to sit a bit more close to the skin for maybe the next four to five hours, but people around you are still gonna be able to detect it if they kind of lean in to give you a hug, etc. It stays on clothes for a good nine or 10 hours. So for a fragrance that you can pick up for under 30 quid, what more could you ask for? This has got to be by far one of the best bang for buck fragrances that you can purchase. The presentation is first class, the scent quality is amazing and the performance is surprisingly good. If it was branded by a niche uh, fragrance house, nobody would complain about paying £200 a bottle for this one. It wipes the floor with some of the fragrances that I own that I've paid three times the price of this for. This one is, is one that you've just got to own because it's just too good value not to. And for that reason, it gets a straight and easy 10 out of 10. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. Tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about one of the most hyped and best loved scents uh, from the past 10 years. So if you want to have a guess at what you think it might be, uh, then leave your comment down in the comment section uh, and, and have a little play along. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow to see which one I'm talking about. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And it's always great to hear your opinions and your thoughts and your critiques and all of these fragrances that feature in the 365 project. So keep your comments coming down in the comments section. So as always, thank you very much once again for watching. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye bye for now.